Hey folks, Adam Dupay here, and in this video we're going to be doing a live hack of the Pwnable.kr Challenge Lotto. So let's dive right in. So Lotto says, Mommy, I made a lotto program for my homework. Oh, that's good. Do you want to play? And so here now, whew, we actually have access to a system. So when we SSH to this system, we can see we're back on familiar territory. We have Lotto Pwn, uh, we have a Lotto executable, which is set UID on the owner bit by Lotto underscore Pwn, and where Lotto underscore Pwn can read this flag, and we have our Lotto.c, so, ah. Ah, we, now everything makes sense in the world, and hopefully we're back to some cool, nice challenges. Um, so we have a decently large uh, application here, so let's look in. So we have a global variable submit, that's six uh, characters. Uh, so we have a play function, which as we can see here, some kind of win, which is good, we wanna get there. Uh, we have a help thing, so this is interesting, let's look at this, it says lotto rules. Um, and lotto is consisted with six natural random number, or random natural numbers less than 46. Your goal is to match lotto numbers as many as you can. Ooh, so this might be a crypto one. If you win lottery for first place, you'll get a reward. For more details, follow the link below. Interesting. Uh, mathematical chance to win the game is known to be one out of eight million. Uh, so hopefully we will not have to do that many. Um, and if we go back, this is a two point challenge. So hopefully not that much. And so clearly uh, this should have nothing to do with this page that they just linked this to, um, since it is clearly in Korean. So one of the interesting things, so this clearly means that uh, A, this is just kind of like, this is a realistic thing that they actually uh, wrote, which is cool. I always like, it's always interesting when people take realistic vulnerabilities and put them into challenges. So just check out our main menu. So we have an unsigned in menu. So while one, so forever, do this, select menu, play lotto, help, exit, scan F into menu, so scan a number into menu, uh, switch menu, one play, two help, three print F buy, and return zero to get out of this crazy loop. And then we can play. All right, so let's look at this play function. So that looks like that's where the, uh, all of the fun is. So it says, submit your six lotto bytes, and then an F flush. And then it reads in uh, six bytes into this submit buffer. So this buffer is again going to be uh, in six bytes. Interesting. Um, okay. So read from zero, fire descriptor zero is standard in. Then lotto start. So generate lotto numbers. So, ah, good. We're reading from dev u random now. That's good. Um, and if it gets zero, please tell admin, hopefully that won't happen. Then unsigned character lotto. So read from this file descriptor dev you random six bytes. If it's not equal to six, that means we didn't read six uh, values. And what is this doing? For, uh, let's see, i equals zero, i less than six, i plus plus, lotto bracket i is equal to lotto i mod 45 plus one. So uh, the idea is to change every value in the lottery from 1 to 46. Uh, let's see, then calculate a lotto score. Interesting. All right. So match J for I 0 to less than 6. For J less than 0, if... Uh, interesting, why is this a double loop? That may be the problem here. Okay, because uh, this doesn't make sense. So, oh, uh, okay. So the idea is we want to match. So it's checking if lotto i is equal to submit j, then match plus plus. And if match equals six, then we win. So the idea is we are, trying to, what it wants is it wants uh, to see how many of them are correct. 
But I believe this loop is definitely, I mean, this jumps out. This is not the way that you would check this, right? You'd check to see if uh, the bytes actually matched. So this means that if you get any one byte correct, uh, it will count that for however many times it's in submit. So I think if we just set it to, let's say, all ones, um, if we just pass in six ones, then we can keep trying this. And once we get one that has all ones, we should hit it. Uh, I think that'll work. Let's um, try that out. And what's it going to read from? It's going to read from us from standard input. Okay, cool. Uh, da -da. So we can do Python dash C print zero X zero one. Uh, da, 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 time six. Pipe that into Lotto. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. I see. I see the problem. Okay. So we should be able to do one. Let's see. How is it reading this in in the menu? I forgot about the menu. Okay. So it's just looking for an int. So great, so we can do one uh, new line, but then is the new line gonna be considered as part of that? Uh, let's just do, and that did not work out too well. Okay, because that is in there. Okay, 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 okay. Six plus, was it three to exit? Oh gosh. It does does not like this. Does not like this. Okay. Let's go one new line. Three new line. All right. Because so the reason is why aren't we? Um, Okay, I believe you random. So the character special files dev random and dev you random provide an interface to the kernel's random number generator. File dev random blah 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 When read, the dev random device will determine bytes only within the estimated number of bits of noisy. I read from the dev. Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay, well, we may be fine there. A read from dev, so dev random is a blocking pseudo random number generator. So these uh, devices slash dev random and dev u random are seeded by the kernel. So the kernels will add entropy to this and they will check. So um, dev u random will not block, but that should be fine because we probably still can't guess it anyways. I think this should work. I'm not 100% certain why. What would be a good approach to use? I think, let's do this. We will create a Python script because I love talking about how awesome it is to write Python scripts. And .py. And I actually want the connection to be um, da -da. and let's see, I can actually debug this locally. So um, Lotto, so I need con dot receive until three dot exit, and then um, send line one. We want to play our game, and then until you give me the flag, man. This is what I want to see. Uh, send line one. Receive this until uh, 
and then my six bytes, and then zero, zero, 01 times six, so I'm gonna send six bytes of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, oh, it's because I sent four, five. Let's see if what that does. All right, let's see if we are um, six ones. Okay. So now we want to debug this process and see what's going on here. So um, I think the part the problem is going to be is it a problem that these are global variables? No. The problem is that lotto, okay, so mod 45 Plus one, yeah. So it should just take 45 guesses to get that right. Um, yeah, because as soon as anything mod 45 matches, that should work. Um, Oh, let's see, what happens if I do a receive until There we go. Got it. In cat. Okay, great. So yes, this uh definitely works. Um because they are doing this double loop to count, which means all we have to do is wait until anything in Lotto. So if Lotto is, uh, if anything, mod 45 plus one, so uh, all we need to do is try wait 46 times, and then that number will hit every single one in our match. And so it will get incremented six times, and so match will be six, and we will get the flag. So I believe we'll need to change this connection from here to, uh, home lotto 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 make directory temp Adam D Ludo apparently ah, come on ah such file directory again we have the same problem so now we, I mean uh, so now we need to make sure we have a home lotto flag flag set up Python exploit that and get sorry mom I forgot to check duplicate numbers wow wow yep that is a problem cool that was a really fun ponable um, yeah these type of logic uh, problems are really difficult to identify programmatically and so these problems are super interesting to me so uh, that was super fun and I hope you learned something and I will talk to you later